to create your own keyboard sounds using field recordings with Ableton Sampler. I decided to use a very simple sound source to demonstrate how easy it is. I'm going to record and process the sound of my bathroom's exhaust fan. I'm using a portable stereo recording, but you can use any other device like your phone. Adjust the recording level of your device if it doesn't set up automatically. You want a good amount of sound, but be careful not to distort. And try to use headphones to monitor exactly what you're recording. I'm taking 8 seconds for this creation. Now we can go back to our computer and get ready to shape our sound. I have transferred the recording file from the SD card to a folder in my laptop. The next step will be to import the sound to Ableton Live. Just copy and paste in an audio track. Then create a MIDI track by pressing Shift Command T. Click in the MIDI track to select it and then go to the browser and find the sample device by pressing Command F and type Sampler. Double click in it. Now that the sampler device has been added, drag and drop your sound straight into the sampler's window. Your sound should be ready to be played if your MIDI track is recorded armed. Use a basic MIDI controller to test the notes and to reference as we continue with the sounds processing. My sound wasn't recorded loud enough, so I will fix this by moving the amount in the volume box in Sampler. About 15 dB more is okay for me this time. Always remember to leave some volume headroom just in case you later decide to use effects that rises the volume of your track. Now I need to identify the actual note that my bathroom exhaust fan produced. Ableton will always assume that any sound imported to the sampler will be a C note and it will arrange and distribute all the rest of the note from this initial note. But if the sound you recorded is not a C but for example an A, which is 4 semitone down, this will conflict with our intentions because if you press the C key, Ableton will play an A and if you press the D key, Ableton will play a B and so on. Pitch will be shifted in relation to the keys all across the piano roll and your keyboard. This will be definitely a major headache if you want to arrange notes. So the way of fixing that is the following. First load a tuner by typing tuner in the browser and double click. Then press the C key in your keyboard to discover what is the actual root note at the moment. As we can see, it is slightly below A flat. So we have to adjust the intonation by moving the detune box in the lower left of sampler. We have adjust to standard tuning. Now we will go where it says root and move it to the note of our original sample. In this case, it's A flat. Ableton won't give us flat, so we can go with it in harmonic, G sharp, and it will be the same note. And now we can check that when we press the key C in our keyboard, the tuner will tell us, yep, it's a C note, finally. To continue, I want it to sound more like an instrument. First, let's throw an EQ by typing EQ in the browser. I will go with Ableton's EQ8 
but you can use any equalizer. I feel like there is too much going on in the higher frequencies, so I will filter some by changing band number 4 to a cut and then moving it down to 1.38 kilohertz. I'll do the same with the lower end. I will turn band 1 into a cut and then move it up to 104 hertz. Move around and do what you feel it's best for you. Always use your ears more than anything when designing sound. We can turn off band 2 and 3 to save some computer resources. Now let's add a reverb by typing reverb on the browser and double click in Ableton's reverb. Move knobs to your taste. You can try different levels of dry wet signals as well as different decay times. And the last few tweaks to finish and refine our sound. Sampler will play the length of your sample just once and then it will stop. But you can change that by pressing the different sustain modes in Sampler. I chose the two arrows in both directions which means that the sample will play backwards once it has finished its initial length and this will allow me to play longer notes if I want. Then we will go to the modulation tab in Sampler, turn on the LF01 and go to the pan box. By increasing the percentage you will get a movement effect of the sound from one speaker to the other. Change the frequency at taste. This creates a very nice smooth moving effect at lower frequencies or an intense Leslie organ type of sound at higher frequencies. And to finalize, I'll group the processing chain by selecting and pressing Command G. Right click on the name and rename it. I'll call it Air Exhaust Pad. Then click on the save icon and it will be saved into your Ableton's user library slash presets slash instrument racks. And now it's ready to use on any of your musical projects.